Welcome viewers. Running a business without a system is like running a car without an engine. Do you feel that your business is unorganized and that you need a system to run it smoothly? Are you a small business owner facing the problems of lack of coordination, untimely follow-ups, delay in delivery of work, misreporting? If the answer is yes, then you are watching the right video. Friends, my name is Vishnu Agarwal and I am the founder director of Buddhaditya.in and you are watching a new episode of the video series Atma Nirvar MSME. Today's topic for discussion is automating your business using G Suite and to discuss this we have with us the automation coach Mr. Keval Kishan. Keval is a renowned technology coach and a business automation expert. Seven years into business consulting and technology training, having subject matter expertise in G Suite technology. After training 8,000 plus professionals and 3,500 plus business owners pan India and four countries to manage their data team and operations for the eight years, Kewal is now on a mission to revolutionize the SME sector of India by enabling 1 million business owners to grow 10x using G Suite technology. Over the years, Kewal and his team have helped with Heinz, Legero Lightning, NIRT, ART, HFC, Neurogram, Geoconstec, etc. In these difficult times, Kewal is empowering business owners pan India by doing the free masterclass for business owners to empower them on Google application by training on how to put your operations on autopilot. He runs business automation programs for business owners. He has coached manufacturers, traders, services, constructions, and 10 plus industries. You are welcome, Keval. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Vishnu, for inviting me for this. Uh amazing interview i'm privileged i'm really feeling great that you have invited me and credit goes to you vishnu that you're organizing these kind of video series where you are empowering your viewers especially the business owners in india who want to grow but who lack the knowledge and who lack the direction i'm sure through this video series your viewers will be able to get the right guidance as well so congratulations and thank you so much for inviting thank you pleasure is all mine mine keval Thank you so much once again for coming here. Welcome. With your permission, let us then start the discussion, Keval. So sure. let us start the discussion by asking the most important question. What is the need for automation? OK, so the question seems simple, but I'll go in detail to explain you on why automation is required nowadays and without automation, it's impossible to run and grow the business. Yeah. So Vishnu, you right? And if I define the simple definition of business, business is made with two things, systems and people. And if you don't have systems in your business, then the people that are working in your organization, they will not be as efficient as you want them to be. Now, when it comes to a business, especially the micro, small and medium enterprises, the business owner is who? He's a technician. You are good at something and then you think, okay, that instead of you doing a job, you want to start a business. So you set up right. a factory or you start giving a service, right? But right. you have a mindset of an employee only. So you know right. your core operational work. Right. But when it comes to business, you need to handle the branding, marketing, sales, HR, team training, reporting, accounting, and much more. However, right. what happens that when you're growing, for example, you acquire a few clients and you have few teammates as well. As a business owner, 90% of the time of a business owner just goes into operations, daily firefighting, managing the projects, in managing the clients, in managing the queries, in managing the employees. Now, everything, because everything is happening manually, so there are a lot of mistakes happening. There are a lot of errors happening on the right. client side, on the vendor side, or on the employee side. Now, to mitigate that, 
a business owner the entire day devotes on operations and daily fire fighting and that is where he struggles on focusing on other departments like sales and marketing and others now if you are not focusing on other departments then what is happening that you are not growing the business you are just surviving in your business and that is the story of every other business owner in india right. and it will be time till the business owner start building systems and without that the business owner will keep fight, fear fighting so that is the core reason and core need of automation when you start building systems in a business you know the managerial tasks the usual repetitive tasks can be completely automated and the business owner can focus on growth oriented tasks like uh, acquiring new clients building a brand or hiring the new candidates and training the team so that is my answer that this is the core need of automation because without automation it's impossible to grow ah wonderful insights keval i mean this is you have just hit the nail on the coffin i mean this is the major problem for for all the msmes instead of focusing on growth they go and try and solve the problem of their employees so business mein to dimag nahi lagta hai existing problems mein solve karne mein time chala jata hai so this brings me to the second question that when you say that by automating you need to put your organization on autopilot mode what do you mean by that okay okay uh now let me go a little brief on to my history on to my experience and then you'll be able to please. connect on what do i mean by autopilot mode so please, i started please. my career by working in a consulting firm as a data analytics employee yeah. and i was in the data analytics department and it was a big company big uh organization with so many departments and it was a multinational company okay now every department in every employee in that company used to have the key responsible activities kras every employee knew that what they need to do every day what they need to submit to the manager and our reports our performance everything used to come to our manager automatically okay now what happened that when i started my entrepreneurship career so i left the job and i started serving few clients and i started growing my team as well i did not know on how to do all this i did not know on how to build systems i was doing everything manually so i was giving the work to my team manually i used to tell my teammates care you know please complete this work by after 3 days and after 3 days when i used to take the follow up from my team hey did you complete this work or not guess what the answer used to be always no the my employees used to come with one excuse or another so to get the work done i used to take the follow up from my employees that please do this work please do this work please do this work so instead of be being the ceo of the company i became the cfo chief follow up officer chief follow up yeah. officer now fantastic when it, yeah. the, when it comes to the clients i used to take the projects from the clients and i used to commit to them that i'll deliver the entire project in 4 weeks we used to create the plan in excel okay but i used to give the work to my team that complete this but after a week when i used to ask them hey on which stage the work is they used to say it's pending it's pending it's pending instead of delivering the work in one month they used to deliver in two months or three months and then again i used to go into that and i used to spoon feed them that please do this please do that please do this please do that so again i was doing the follow up i was again guiding up right same case was with the accounts with the sales with every department in fact with right. the sales what used to happen whenever i used to get any referral or whenever i used to get any lead or any client i used to tell my team that please call this client and take the proper follow up and for example when you call a client client almost you know usually says that okay call me after 2 days so there was no right. system where my team could put it that after 2 days they need to call and i had to remind my team again follow up with them that did you call the client after two days and they used to say no right because they don't remember yeah they don't remember right so what is happening that although i have employees all them giving salary to them but i'm spoon feeding everything to everybody right now when it comes to the autopilot mode what happens mm -hmm. for example if i want to delegate the task to the team now there is a task delegation system in my company okay so for example if i want to give the task to one of my employee i have a google form in my mobile so okay i open a google form okay and i fill it 
and the task goes to my employer automatically oh now, great instead of me taking the follow up and telling the employee that complete this in 3 days no gmail and google calendar send reminders to my teammates back to back that they need to complete the work and when they complete the work they again can put it on the form google form that they have completed it i get notified so if i'm sitting in nainital or goa or bali or any other country my work i know that is getting completed on time because of this system so my right. task delegation is on autopilot mode right the same case when it comes to the sales my team is to forget on taking the follow up but now we have a proper crm system where my team puts up that okay after 3 days they need to call the client so on that third day the system sends the email and the reminder to my teammate that hey today you need to call vishnu today you need to call anuj right, right. so now i am not reminding the system is reminding so my sales reminding. is auto pilot mode right same case with the projects i used to tell my team that okay this is how the project will be done and i used to remind okay. them every time now there is a project tracker and they get reminders as well and while i'm sitting at home i can tell my which project is at which stage how many projects are on time how many projects are delayed and my team is getting daily reminder as well so my project management is also on the autopilot mode so when i say autopilot mode that you need to use the technology you need to use the tools so that your team can know on what they need to do on each and every point right and the system takes the responsibility on reminding them and third best part is that there are reports coming out to me automatically every day on my mobile that how my team oh. is performing how my sales is happening how happy my clients are and my entire accounts and balance sheet and the uh, profit and loss statement so that is where i say that my entire business is right now on autopilot mode great i mean it's it is just like we are working for the system now after automation systems will work for us definitely so when you say about google form gmail uh, then calendar say so you are speaking about g suite right so how g suite is different from other software vendors okay this is very 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 interesting question and thank you so much for bringing this out first of all let me tell you that in india right now in year 2021 Six million business owners are using G Suite. Oh, and in the entire world, two billion people are using G Suite <laughs> or Google Forms or Google Sheets or Gmail, right? Okay. Now, eight years back in year two thousand thirteen, hmm. I did not have any idea on what G Suite is, and when okay. I was giving the service to my clients, I used to serve them on very very complicated softwares. rigid erp softwares now when it comes to the multinational companies they can afford to pay 10 15 lakh rupees for a single system right secondly an mnc is having rigid fixed processes right and that process is just keep working for them in all the countries in all the states in all the cities right correct so rigid erp systems and softwares work for the mnc is very well but what happened that in my business after few years i got couple of clients from the sme industry as well and while talking to their requirements i got to know that as an sme they were a growing organization so first of all they did not have a budget of spending 10 15 lakh rupees on softwares secondly their processes just kept changing after every 6 months every year after 2 years so i got to know that this rigid softwares that cannot be changed cannot work for them so what is the technology which can work for them so that is where g suite came out as a life saver for me and for my clients so now when it comes to the g suite why g suite is recommended to every sme business owner in india is because of three reasons Okay. First reason is it is the most affordable platform. If you use your Gmail ID to build systems, then it's free. And if you use your official email ID, Google charges you in peanuts, like around one fifty or two hundred rupees per email ID. So it is even cheaper than Office three sixty five, four times cheaper. So first reason is it is affordable. 
so it's no brainer in that case right. second is it is flexible so a business owner gets the ability to customize and change the things according to his or her own need so in google form you already using you are already part of our mba program as well so yes you yeah. know you can create as many google forms as you want right right you can create as many reports in pivot table right you can yes, customize can. anything according to your will but when it comes right. to different different softwares then you cannot make any change right that's right so when it that's comes right. to the g suite you can build things according to your requirement in a very less time right and so customization is possible yes and best part in this is that you do not need any coding or technical skills yeah if you just are basic good at computers it's very easy to create a google form it's very easy to create right. a report as well this is very important point right but, i don't need prior training yeah yeah but when it comes to the complicated softwares then you need to yeah. uh, talk to an it company you need to give the contract to them and you need to be associated with them for the lifetime absolutely so as your series says atmanirbhar msme so the msme becomes atmanirbhar when they use g suite otherwise if they use any complicated software they will be dependent on a third party for the lifetime absolutely absolutely i mean right it certainly makes the msme is atmanirbhar ki agar mere ko pata chal jata hai ki how to uh, follow up with my existing team and how can i delegate my work or and if i save time on that it is wonder now so i am i if, want to tell you the third reason as well so three reasons i told oh, you oh please please First please was please, please, please second was flexible and third yeah. is that reason which people don't realize and they make blunder mistakes on going for any other softwares third reason okay. is this as an sme you cannot afford to hire iitians and iim graduates right absolutely you have those employees which are normally educated but they are not from the premier leagues right, right. and mm. as an sme your employees are pretty much comfortable in excel they use excel right they use some pivot right. tables and look now when it comes to g suite g suite has a software called g google sheets which is exactly mm. as similar and have a, at least 100 times better features than excel so when you pivot right. from excel to google sheet your employees are very comfortable in doing that but if you give your employees any complicated softwares then they back back on and they will resist on using that platform okay so is it possible that if i am using google uh, microsoft excel excel sheet that i can easily transform to google sheet and i can get all the data that was there it just take one step there is a feature available in google sheet called import you just upload okay. this your excel file and within just few seconds the data gets ported to google sheets fantastic fantastic so so you all the three points are very vital points now keval say if i ask you from the point of view of an msme ke theek hai i become an atmanirbhar msme now i have saved time i have automated everything but business to scaling up se hota hai does g suite help me in scaling up my business how can i scale up my business using this g suite okay so i'll go to detail of some tools and systems that we give to our students pan india who are in our okay. programs so okay. g suite is a platform where you can build systems and tools right yeah. so after working for 8 years and after training 3500 business owners pan india we have right. got those business tools and systems which are built on g suite platform which can help any and every sme to scale the business right okay. now when it comes to scalability the first thing that you need in your company is sales without sales there is no scalability right now right. to grow sales you need a crm system customer relationship management system so a crm okay. is a system or a tool that we give our students right okay. which is built on g suite and when you start using crm what happens that you will be able to track your each and every lead each and every referral each and every inquiry stage by stage and okay. your team will also be able to take the consistent follow up with your clients because google calendar and gmail through our tool will remind your team that they need to take the follow up and there is a complete yeah and there is a complete report which will come up which will show you the 
daily, weekly, monthly sales, top running products, a top running orders, and top buying clients, and every kind of report that you want. Great. After that, when it comes to the scalability, a business owner needs to get freedom from operations. Because if you don't get freedom from operations, you will not be able to focus on growth. You will not be able to focus on collaboration, clients, and other areas. So to get the freedom, we have amazing tools in our programs. One of the tools that we give to students is called task delegation. Hmm. You're also using that tool, right? Yeah, I'm using Yeah. And, and I'm sure that it will be giving you some good results as well. It is, a, it is of great help. It is of great help. So for say. example, if I want to delegate any task to my teammate, so I do not give it verbally now. I use the task delegation tool. I fill the form. And system reminds my team that they need to complete the work. And I get weekly, monthly performance report as well. So previously, I used to spend six to seven hours on spoon feeding and telling my team on what to do. Now, I just sit for half an hour every Saturday. I give the task and all my tasks, 95% of the tasks are getting completed before the deadline. And same thing is happening with our students as well. So that crucial time that I used to waste and now investing in learning. Right in sales, in marketing, in branding, and that is where it is helping me to grow. It is increasing the efficiency of the employees also. Big time, big time. That is very good point that you said. That when it comes to MSME business owners, they do not get any ROI from their employees, right? right. And they even fear that should they hire new employees, should they hire a build ah. team, because their existing employees are not performing according to the level that they expect and they will not right. perform until unless you give the systems to them right another area which i want to point out is operations right so sure. task delegation can help your employees to complete the work crm can help you and your employees to track the sales and 10x that as well a lot of business owners are wasting their years in just tracking which order is at which stage and they just keep spoon feeding their employees that go for the production, go for the packaging, go for the testing, right? But there is a flow management system that we give to our students, which is again built on G Suite platform, through which our students sitting at home or any other location can manage their projects, can manage their orders, and their employees know on what to do on each and every order. Correct. So these are the systems and tools that are built on G Suite, which are helping our existing students to 10x their business. One of our students is into services of AC, AC refrigeration system. He is growing his business from 1 crore to 6 crore using this system in less than one year. Fantastic. I mean, you are doing wonders. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, you have highlighted few of the important features and the tools and all the that uh, that is there in the G Suite. Now, if I have to tell you that please tell me five important features that as an MSME, which is very useful hai, or I can just correlate or if you can show if you can show something, it will be grateful. So what are the, which are those five important features of G Suite, which is very important for an MSME? So I always lead by example. I'll show you in my mobile only. I run oh, my yeah, please, business please. while I'm traveling, while I'm doing anything. I have my entire yeah. business running on my mobile. So you see, wow. this is my Google Drive. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I've got like six, seven folders of my departments and past right. eight years, all my document, all my data, all my reports, everything stored in this. Okay. Right. So this is one feature that G Suite help you to organize your entire data into one platform. Right. Right. So, for example, if I want to go to sales, I can just go ahead and click and I've got some folders and I can see everything. And from this Google Drive, it takes me just 30 seconds to share any document with any of my right. clients, any of my vendor, or my teammate, or my prospect. Now, what right. used to happen eight years back is that I had every data on my laptop. And whenever my team used to say, Kevin, sir, can you share me this document? I used to open the laptop. I used to search the D, D drive, C drive, E drive. And then I used to waste my crucial hours in just finding the documents. And I listened to a lot of my other friends as well many years ago that their laptop got crashed and their data is gone. Data is the new oil of 21st century and G Suite Absolutely. can help you to organize the entire data on cloud on mobile right. is the first feature. 
second feature is that when i say data is the new oil the biggest struggle that as a business owner people have is that data entry right right the right. data entry is so incorrect that their employees are making blunder mistakes because they are doing the data entry in excel files right. first of all excel is offline so they need a dedicated person on our system to do that if the person is on a leave so the entry will not be done right secondly right. one excel file cannot be shared by one or five or 10 employees but right. here you see in my mobile these are all the purple icons and these are the google forms so i've got right. like task delegation form crm form networking form and all my employees are also having these google forms right, right. so now whenever my employees or my students or me want to do any kind of entry we can do it sitting anywhere in the world using my mobile so data okay. entry is completely automated and that is the second feature of g suite right yeah third thing so yeah, yeah. please yeah you please carry on so third feature you are into all the uh, also into the sme sector right right third feature which i'm going to tell you will guide you that when it comes to the msme business owner what they don't have is the reports uh, right mis reports business owners have no yeah. idea i'll ask a lot of my friends that can they tell me what was the net profit last month they have no idea no they say i'll ask my chartered accountant and he will tell and if we right. ask the chartered accountant what is his net profit of his business he also has no idea <laughs> <laughs> that is a very important problem now if i ask you tell me logically how can a business owner grow the business without reports because with with reports you get to know on what is happening and right. what, you, what you can measure you can in, analyze you can grow as well right but without analytical reports without your sales analysis without your team performance analysis you have no idea where your business is going right Absolutely. now you see i have a mobile i have my gmail right and right i get all my reports in my mobile you see here right so my sales report my team performance report my students satisfaction report lead tracking report conversion reports every reports so this is happening with my students as well who are learning from us that the complete business reporting can be automated into g suite right that is a third feature and then there are many right. features like google keep where me and my teammates can organize all our notes and right. can plan as well and there are hundred of other things so the beauty part is that the business owner just need to start in g suite absolutely google keep is a wonderful feature i mean i i am very much using it extensively and it's a very useful feature i must say google keep now right. i mean we have given you have given such good content today that it is going to help the msmes in a very 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 big way because automation is the need of the hour now now viewers by now you must have understood the need for automation and how much it is essential in today's world india is moving fast towards towards digitalization the decade is surely going to be ours don't waste your time in thinking it's time to move ahead and adapt to these changes viewers this brings us to the end of this series i am thankful to mr kewal kishan for his valuable time that he has given us it is certainly going to help the small and medium entrepreneurs in a big way in case you have any queries do drop in a mail at the below email id and also visit our website at www.budhadeepthi.in kewal i must thank you once again thank you for the time and thank you for the wonderful insight that you have given us thank you vishnu and even i am offering a free master class to all your viewers so they can just go to directly oh, to my great. website kewalkishan.com and they will get right. a two hours free master class live for me where i'll be able to tell them on why they need to be system driven rather than people driven and how can g suite help them to put their business on autopilot mode so viewers there is some very good offering from kewal kishan for you you must try and avail this opportunity 
keep watching us subscribe our youtube channel to get such wonderful videos see you next time till then goodbye thank you